Good morning, folks. I'm sorry I was a moment late. I'm having technical difficulties, as you can see. I'm fading here. <laughs> I apologize for that. I don't mean to have a ghostly appearance on the show today, but I'll know not to wear this shirt anymore in the future. <laughs> oh, that's that's so funny. Well, welcome to Pray for America. I'm so honored to be here with you. I'm so honored to have the opportunity and the privilege of praying with you for our nation so in so in need of prayer. And yet prayer is what she needs. And so we're here to do that. We're here to do the most needed thing. And I'm excited to have the privilege of doing it together with you. Diane, good morning. Good to see you. I apologize again also for Friday. I was in uh, Tennessee and um, in the morning at seven, I was boarding my flight and it was a big, you know, the hubbub of getting on the plane. I I couldn't do uh, our prayer call. Good morning, Mary. Good to see you. Good to see you. But the show went well. It was uh, an honor to be on the Huckabee program. It was an honor to uh, to um, see John Voigt, who I had forgotten I had met uh, a dozen years ago on the uh, Sean Hannity tour. Kathy remembered and he remembered. <laughs> he says, I remember you. It was very cool. Oh, uh, But we have some work to do. We have some prayer to pray and a God to move on behalf of our country. Good morning, good morning. Brandon, good to see you, my friend. Alyssa, good morning. uh, I'm I'm glad to be home, so glad to be back in the saddle. And um, I'm, I'm, uh, and and I've uh, released now the music video, my America, my brother and me. And uh, so far, so good. It's got, um, 100% 100% positive reviews, and uh, f- folks are enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing people say, you know, it's playing in my head, which is a great thing. Uh, again, it was a song that that it, it, it dropped into my spirit. I don't know how else to say it, but it was a gift from God. I really, truly believe that He gave it to me, because um, I just started typing and it, it all just fell right out. Starting back to work. Oh, that's great, Diane. Praise the Lord. Yes, pray for physical endurance. We will certainly, in fact, let's start there. Lord, we lift up Diane. And we're so grateful that you are allowing her to start back to work. Lord, we pray that you would give her the stamina that she needs in a high pressure job to do her job with, with excellence, with diligence, with love, with patience and with endurance. Give her strength, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we wanna start this morning by praising you. We wanna start this morning by adoring you. You are our God. You made everything we see and everything we don't see. Lord, you made the angels and we just thank you that they are sent to minister to the heirs of salvation. Thank you, Father, for messengers. When we read your word, you worked with your people from cover to cover in the Bible, Old and New Testament. You spoke to, you directed um, men to, to, to write, both to write down the scriptures which guide us, but then also directly, you led Philip out into the desert knowing that you had also led, it doesn't say you led the Ethiopian eunuch out into the desert, but somehow you, you masterminded that intersection where he could hear the good news and, and become saved. And I've seen so many divine appointments myself, Lord, and so many times where you've orchestrated uh, events around your gospel and around your love for people. Father, I thank you 
so much for this uh, little ragtag group of friends who come to you every weekday morning asking for restoration, for revival, for healing. Lord, I pray that you would return America to you, that you would return the church in America to a biblical lifestyle where we would worship you, know you, love you, praise you, sense your presence, your nearness, and um, and hear from you. Hear from you through your word. Hear from you through the direct inspiration of the Holy Spirit. What a joy. Lord, you're, you're good. And, and nations have gone through far, far tougher times than America finds herself in. Nations are going through far tougher times than America finds herself in now. And yet, we pray, Father, for people to be released from bondage of all kinds. Lord, I pray that you would release the prisoners who are locked in a prison of fear, locked in a prison of unbelief, locked in a prison of false reality. Dear God, set people free. Thank you, Lord, that that is your uh, desire to do so and that you do respond to your people when in humility we ask you to restore our land. And we do pry, we do cry out to you in humility, Lord. We know that apart from you, we don't, good to see you, Brett Grady. Beth, good morning. Apart from you, we don't take the next breath. Apart from you, we don't take the next breath. But we're not apart from you, Lord. We're never going to be apart from you, ever. Hallelujah. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You told your people. Mm. Praise God. Praise God. So we exalt you, Lord, above the earth. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom be expanded in America, all across this beautiful country. Let your church prosper. Let your leaders have discernment to know the truth from lies. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And let love reign. Let love reign, Lord. Oh, God, may we love you and receive and enjoy and benefit from the very essence of your love. So deep. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. You forgave us all of our sins and trespasses. And then you said, forgive those who trespass against you. And so we do that, Lord. We forgive everyone who has wronged us. Everyone. We take a moment right now, Lord, and acknowledge we wronged you and you forgave us. And then you said, as I have forgiven you now, forgive one another. And Lord, we do. We forgive. We ask for forgiveness for our sin. And we thank you for forgiving us. You're instant to forgive us. And may we not put ourselves above any other person, knowing that you died for everyone. They are our brothers and our sisters in your kingdom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. I want to segue for a little song that'll that'll help us with forgiveness. This is a song that I remember from the early days of my faith. Christ accepted you. Accept another also Christ accepts 
this and tell you except one another also that you may with one accord glorify the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ that you may with one accord glorify the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ accepted you. Accept one another also. Accept one another always. Thank you, God. Thank you for forgiving us and for giving us the ability to forgive everyone, no matter what. And as you forgive us and as we release our unforgiveness, we are set free. Hallelujah. Like opening the door to a cage and setting a bird free. Praise God. I remember in the early days of my faith, I felt like I was in a cage. I felt as though I couldn't be forgiven, that I'd done too much, that I'd gone too far. And I didn't forgive myself. And until that cage was open for me, I lived in terrible bondage to unforgiveness. I assumed unforgiveness on the part of the church and I allowed condemnation to rule my life. I accused myself when God had forgiven me. Mm, So good. Young life, yes, those were the days. Well, let's pray for one another. Lord, I pray that you will strengthen our families, strengthen our marriages, Strengthen our relationships one with each other. And Lord, there's there's just a huge wave of accusation going around our country. And everybody seems like they have to walk on eggshells. Lord, let there come a giant wave of forgiveness and release in our country. That everyone can just accept one another. Love one another care for one another, not put themselves over one another. E pluribus unum is our national motto. Well, I don't know what that is. I guess in God we trust is our motto. I don't know. I forget which one is the motto and which one is what, but on our seal it says e pluribus unum. Right on that little flaggy thing. I'm looking at one right now over there. Out of many one people, one nation under God, indivisible, with freedom, liberty, and justice for all. Hallelujah. That is what America stands for. Father, let us celebrate the reality of those words. That is who we are. What a joy to be a a citizen in a country dedicated to God and to the furtherance of the gospel. Our founders dedicated this land to you, Lord. And I'm so glad to celebrate that fact. Lord, let America return to her dedication to you. That we might love one another as you loved us. Equal in the eyes of God and in the eyes of one another. Distinct, of course, but equal. Glory to God. (sighs) 
Let there come a great wave of freedom across our land. I feel it. Do you feel it? I feel set free. Free to love, free to lay down my life for each other. Lord Jesus, as you laid down your life for us. Jesus, you said, greater love has no man than this. Then he laid down his life for his friends. And you laid down your life for your enemies. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Dear God, as we prayed for Diane a few moments ago, starting back to work at Memorial Hospital. We now pray for everyone sick in our midst. Heal cancer in the name of Jesus. We proclaim healing to the blind, hearing to the deaf, freedom to those captive in bodies that are racked with sickness cancer be healed in Jesus name arthritis be healed in Jesus name diabetes be healed in Jesus name joint pain irregular heartbeats blood clots terrible effects from the vaccine and from COVID be healed in Jesus name glory to your name Lord Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. <laughs> oh, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Grady, I appreciate you, sir. I need to talk to you, Grady. Give me a call. And uh, Beth, it's good to see you. I hope I hope you guys all got a chance to see uh, the Huckabee Show where I had the privilege of being a guest. Uh, I'll tell you. I loved that episode from beginning to end. John Voigt had phenomenal things to say. And the young lady who's putting out the yard signs, oh my goodness, she got inspired because she heard of all the, the suicides among young people and among people that knew, you know, the, the, the numbers are escalating and off the charts. So she just got lit up about it and she thought, how can I encourage people? And she went out and bu bought a bunch of, yard signs and had simple phrases printed on them in just block black lettering don't give up you are loved man i love that i think we should all do that i think that's a great idea a simple way for us to encourage our communities what a what a joyful idea. I just think it's fantastic. It's really great. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Have a, have a great day. It's so great to be uh, with you and uh, I appreciate you. I care for you. I care for those who hear this program. I, I want God to minister to you. I, I want you to become ministers to other people that your love would flourish and that you yourselves and all of your families would just be lit up in the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Thank you, Beth. That's very kind. And I'll, I'll, I did miss a couple of beats, but maybe it didn't show. Um, <laughs> um, and don't forget my a song, America, My Brother and Me, is uh, findable now on YouTube, the music video. And I'd encourage you all to go look for it. If uh, Just put America, comma, my brother and me, and it should pop right up. And you can go to um, iTunes, Pandora, and anywhere, uh, just about anywhere that music is sold and pick up my four-song EP of the same title. It's got the song Shine on it. It's got everything, my song Everything, Red, White, and Blues, and uh, America, my brother and me. And I just uh, encourage you all to pick up a copy. I'm so excited. And I'm going to keep writing songs and putting stuff out there. And we're going to keep changing the world a little at a time, making it more like Christ. Hallelujah.
Have the best day you've ever had in the name of Jesus, and I will wear a better shirt <laughs> this afternoon for the John Morgan Show, <coughs> and I won't be all ghosty, I promise. God bless you, and have a great day.